All right, coming up next, a matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? for this heavyweight championship fight. Both fighters identical in age, with big differences in height and reach. Now for the introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Doha, Qatar, presenting the challenger, Bullet Crew. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Shanghai, China, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Lee. for the championship. You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up and we are underway. Ready. So we got two classically trained strikers here. Any chance this fight actually goes to the ground? This fight does not go to the ground. This one will be fought in the pocket. Two guys will stand in front of each other. They will trade punches. They will trade kicks. It's going to be a classic matchup that you normally see inside of a ring. We get it in the octagon tonight. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the coach. Yeah. Let him go. Slips the punch nicely there. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Yeah. 
going back to his patented kicks here, but unable to find the target there. Right hand punches the clinch. Nice leg kick lands. Oh, he moved right into the kick there. A kick to the head lands, and he's shown a susceptibility to that in fights prior. You can't lean into those power shots. Let's see if he can circle out and make the adjustments here. And they separate. Quick level change now. He went single into a high crotch. Oh, he's taking his dude for a ride. Oh. Nice big takedown. What a technique. What a takedown. Great high impact skill. You could feel the canvas reverberating here at the Broncos. I mean, it's right there. Bo -bo 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 -bo. <laughs> it's like me running anywhere, John. <laughs> How about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Just over three minutes to go, round one. Get those hands go. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. Oh! Oh, collar tie. That shot blocked by Lee. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Big off punch lands. Now he gets back to range. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, looked like he might have been in range, but misses with the kick. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, and yet another knee finds the target. So a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. So there it is, taller fighter landing a knee to the body. Great match. What a right hand by this young man. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Nice straight punch. Beautiful body kick land right under the elbow. Oh, beautiful shot there with the hook. I'm not sure his opponent saw that one come. His opponent is taking straight punch. He's hooking right around the guard to land and land efficiently. Hit me to the body. Oh, straight right. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. Continues to mix it up going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Big shot, man. Round two is next. Oh, oh. Well, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under him. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Punch over the top. 
Whiffs on the right hand. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. That's a crippling shot there. Body attack, and it's blocked. And now he's got the tie Oh, bone on bone, shin slash foot, right to the skull. You see why I'm a commentator and not a fighter? You see why? Yeah, those aren't fun. I'll tell you, man. You get kicked in the head. A lot of times, it's the end of the night. He's got a little experience with that. Yes, I do. A bit. Horrible. Just missed with the left there. Really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole <laughs> platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found the set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active. He's keeping busy, doing great work. Head kick blocked. Nice punch lands over the top. Well, as my favorite rack group, Onyx, would say, stick and move, right? Huh. Beautiful slip off the center line there. Yeah, what a great job of his head. It doesn't take much to avoid a punch. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Good punch. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Shots exchanged in the pocket there. Pretty nice knee there, DC. Great job finding the opportunity to land that strike. Beautiful punch. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. And they separate. Nice kick landed there by Lee. Right hand punch to the clinch. Battling for hooks. Oh, nice shot. Double leg takedown attempt here, and that is a good attempt as he gets the fight back to the mat. It's ideal. His ideal situation just happened. He got it on the shot, didn't have to put too much effort to finish. Great job. Nice loop to punch. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes up. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. All right, boy, Ty Clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guy to try to break this immediately. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Straight punch lands. Single collar tie now. Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. Blocks the shot. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. He really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. And he's back up again, so the takedowns have been there, as have the get-ups. And that's the end of round number two. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up.
All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there and he's not on his toes and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this right. next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are going to really start to take their time. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes, and a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. A little single collar tie there, and they separate. Oh, a huge block there. to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the... What a big time take that. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, DC, half-guard position here. You've done a lot of good work in this spot in your career. Oh, man, I love this position. And you see this fighter today loves it, too. It is the most secure position in fighting. You get an underhook on one side, you keep a half guard on the other, and then you just go to work. It's the safest position, especially for a wrestler. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Single collar tie here. Oh, he's really start to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Over and over, he's landing a big body kick. Big leg kick lands. Uppercut, but it's not there. And they separate. I mean, look at the commitment to kick in this fight. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Great punch landing with so much power. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Level you change, your leg, finish the takedown. Great job. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. All right, operating inside the close guard now. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. All right, great position for him here. He's got the full mount. Let's see if he can get that ground and pound going. Oh, he's gotta get the ball, but he can't rush. A lot of times, guys get in the full mount and they rush, they get nervous, 
They're like, oh my goodness, I'm winning. The reality is, you're winning, but it can change in a matter of seconds because then they can be gone. He's got to drop his hips, be really heavy at the opponent's base, and then just start to work. Make the opponent give his back so he can try to get his chokes off or find great ground and pound, but very patient ground and pound from such a dominant position. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship round. All right, so that's the end of the round. He got some things done offensively, but defense still an issue. And as such, the cut on his lip is only getting worse. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are gonna be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going here. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kicks, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched blood. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. All right, the official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at 32 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Lee. All right, so we hear and still tonight, our UFC heavyweight champion came in with a lot of pressure, a lot of hype and he successfully defends the title here tonight. With all that pressure, he never changes his approach. He always does exactly what he says he's going to do, and he remains the champion in the UFC's biggest and most dangerous division.